G'day guys and welcome to Primal Waters. Today we're going to have a look at an article that dates back to 2007. It's called, Are Grey White Sharks Breeding Near Wyala? Now, the reason I'm doing this video, uh, you would have seen a video I posted yesterday, fishing trip, that was at Point Lo Lowly. Uh, that's probably just the other side of the gulf where I live. Wyala uh, by road is about two hours, uh, but if you want to cut across, um, you're just going to go through the gulf here and beautiful fishing area. Uh, like I said, that video I showed you before, Port, Port Lowly, uh, that dates back to 2015. Um, pretty deep water there, a lot of people do a lot of snappering there, and uh, a lot of white sharks are spotted are spotted around that, uh, those waters as well. Now this article here from Emma uh, is talking about uh, the, the possibility, the, the talk that uh, around the Wyala area is a great white shark nursery. Uh, my belief is that the Upper Spencer Gulf is a nursery ground for uh, great white sharks and the reason for that is uh, during summer or winter when people are out fishing on the boat, uh, a lot of great white sharks are spotted and I'm not talking small ones, I'm talking really big ones. So uh, we all know the big white sharks are females and you've got to think what's the reason for these female sharks coming all the way up uh, north in the, uh, uh, in the Gulf? Um, you know they follow. We know they follow the uh, the snapper uh, when they move up here during winter and stuff. Uh, but they still hang around summertime. Uh, the main food for large grey whites, obviously, are sea lions and uh, seals, which are further down south uh, around Port Lincoln and that. So you know, what's the purpose for coming all, all the way up here? These big sharks, like grey whites, are spotted all the way up to uh, Port Augusta as well. Um, so. My belief is that uh, up here somewhere there's a, a nursery ground for great whites. So we do know that the great whites have a particular area they uh, breed. Uh, they come back uh, what's it, every three years or something like that to breed. And uh, I think uh, these waters here are the ideal spot for uh, juvenile great white sharks. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if this is true. Uh, the only people who probably really do know about this are, uh, are the uh, fisheries people, but I don't think they dis dis uh, disclose that information to the public uh, due to keeping the uh, uh, nursery, nursery grounds a secret. So uh, this article talks about uh, a spot near Wyala, uh, but I've always tend to believe that uh, uh, in the upper Spencer Gulf uh, between Wyala, Port Pirium and uh, Port Augusta is an ideal location where uh, there's juvenile great white sharks. It'll be interesting to uh, – uh, I've, I've seen a TV show uh, what they did. They, they tried to find these nursery grounds in the United States and they set up like underwater cameras with baits and stuff like that to lure these smaller great whites in just to prove that uh, these juvenile great whites hang around. So be interesting idea to do in these waters, but obviously – I'm unable to do something like that. I don't have the equipment or time or the money to do that. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll have a read of this article here. I'll post it in the link down below. You can have a read of it. Like I said, it's from 2007, and uh, I believe there are uh, great white shark nurseries around this area. Uh, great white sharks breeding near Wyala. Wyala has recorded the highest number of white shark sightings in South Australia, but the Conservation Council says there are reasons more sharks are being seen. Uh, another thing before I go on to this article as well, uh, the pre previous video I uploaded, uh, the fishing trip 2015, uh, that's uh, at Port, Port Lowly, which is just across the gulf there, uh, it's north of Wyala. Uh, pretty awesome spot. That was my first time actually going there on the boat. Um, as you can see with the line, uh, when we first uh, rocked up, uh, for me, I, I literally thought we had something pretty big on there, but what it was... Uh, the current was moving quite quick and obviously there was a snag. We were anchored but the uh, the anchor wasn't holding us in spot so that's why the line was uh, uh, going out and that noise you hear from Jaws, that click, 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 click. Uh, but I thought it will be interesting to show you. It's beautiful water, really deep water, around about 50 to 60 feet deep. Um, well, at that time, uh, that's how deep it was. So um, a lot of white sharks spotted around there. I would love to be able to go out there again one day. But at the moment, snapper is banned for three years in the Spencer Gulf. You can't fish for it. So there's no purpose to go over there to fish because uh, um, you can't catch any snapper. But anyway, we'll continue on with this uh, 
this article here, Whaler has recorded the highest number of white shark sightings in South Australia, but the Conservation Council says there are reasons more sharks are being seen there. Marine Program Manager Chris Ball is heading up the count and says one reason is the large number of uh, charter boat operators who are helping with the program. He says apart from the large number of people on the water reporting shark sightings around Whaler, another reason uh, so many are being reported may be due to a possibility of breeding sites. Uh, there have been some uh, evidence in the past that the mangrove area just south of Whaler may in fact be a breeding ground for white sharks, a nursery area. The information we have got so far does not really confirm that, but it's a possibility, a possibility still, he said. Uh, Mr Ball said, the, said that despite the current lack of evidence, the uh, mangrove area certainly has what it takes to be a good breeding area for white sharks. I think it's mainly because it is protected area. All fish, uh, when they are breeding, they look for nursery areas where there is not a lot of water movement. There's not a lot of predators around. It's a pretty good area in terms of bringing up young fish and young sharks, I guess. He, he explained, uh, Mr Bull said, that uh, when people see a shark, they should note down the following information. Behaviour of the shark, estimated length, sex, where it was seen, uh, what you were doing, fishing, sailing. A white shark uh, is white underneath, but once they uh, get around three metres in length, they tend to be a, a very wide in girth. Uh, the rear, rear tail fins are equal length, top and bottom, and the dorsal fin is quite ragged on the edge. Uh, to tell the sex of the shark, you must be underwater unless you are, are in the water already. Already, Don't worry about this one. Um, uh, a male shark has cla claspers, uh, its sexual organ, and it's very obvious when you see the underneath of a shark. Female sharks are generally larger and wider than the males. Uh, to get a good estimate of the length of a shark, Mr Bull suggests that the size of a shark be compared to the size of the boat. Uh, he said that noting things like behaviour helps in greater understanding of the often misunderstood white shark. There's been a couple of occasions where the shark has been aggressive and has done the usual thing of biting on the motor because of the electric field that attracts it. But in most cases, it's been a case of, oh, well, well, the shark sort of swam around a few times, seemed to be looking at us and went away. It's been interesting in that way, he said. Uh, despite the program's success in reporting, the Conservation Council hasn't managed to secure any future funding for the white shark count and its future is in doubt. We continue to look for opportunities, but while everybody says what a great project, it's going to provide a lot of useful information, nobody wants to put their money where their mouth is at this point, he explained. If you see a white shark, call the white shark count on 1800 uh, 064522. So, you know, this is actually the first time I've actually heard of this. So, 2007 was a story. Uh, what a great white shark might look like at average. Uh, so, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, if any of you guys who are, are local in this area in the Upper Spencer Gulf, uh, that might be interesting for you guys as well. Um, if you got any shark stories, let me know in the comment section down below. But, you know, where I live is an absolute fantastic spot to go out and have a chance to see a great white. Uh, like they talk about heading down to Port Lincoln and go cage diving. That's where the big sharks are. But just out, just out there, um, we have fairly big white sharks. And, uh, and my belief, the reason is that these are females coming up here breeding, uh, giving birth to their pups and then heading out to deeper water. Uh, the shark that got caught in a line, which I've shown a video of, which we've got a, uh, a life-size replica in Piri. Uh, that shark uh, was a female, at 5.6 metres. And I think, re if I can remember, that shark actually, um, what they're saying is that it may have given birth uh, a few months beforehand um, in the area. So, but there you go. That's it for that. For today's video, guys. So hopefully that that's interesting for you, for you guys. It's interesting for me knowing that this area could be a, a popping ground for great white sharks, but it's not proven yet. That that's something I would love to prove. 
maybe in the future or something, I don't know, but um, it's interesting to talk about now. Uh, like I said, uh, this article I will put in uh, put the link in the description uh, down below, if I can spit that out, and have a read for yourself. Um, hopefully over the next few days, I'll, I'm going to probably look at more Great White stuff uh, at the moment and just focus more on this. Um, great Whites is obviously quite interesting as I talk about these on the channel and that, and hopefully uh, I can give you guys a bit more information about these sharks in Australia, uh, especially South Australia. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome living in this state. Uh, you know, we've got these beautiful creatures swimming around out there and they're quite interesting. And uh, I want to find out as, as much information as I can possibly and hopefully that day will come when I can get to see these guys face to face uh, in a cage though. Uh, hopefully that'll be soon at some stage next year. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, hit the like button down below, drop a comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, please hit that notification bell down below so you're notified with my next video. All right, guys, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.